There are. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, the, the day-to-day operations of a football program as an assistant, you really don't understand uh, what the job of a head coach entails. I think uh, if, if I had a toll booth at my door and I could charge people uh, for coming in and out of my office, I think I'd be rich. But, uh, you know, just, just, the, just, just the management and the, and the day-to-day, day-to-day operations of a football program from an assistant to a head coach uh, are drastically different. I think our offensive coordinator, Wayne Lindenberg, did a great job of, uh, you know, staying focused and uh, capitalizing on the strengths of our kids. Uh, you know, we, we did what we were capable of doing on offense, and I think uh, part of the creativity is uh, we, we played very sound on defense and uh, we made plays on special teams. So I think when you're struggling on offense, uh, the other two phases really help us along the way. Aaron's had a great summer. Uh, you know, our, our, our trainer, Chris Jones, did an excellent job with Aaron, and uh, they, they spent, you know, countless numbers of man hours together. And uh, Aaron was cleared May 1st, and he's done everything this summer that, uh, you know, we, we've asked any kid in our offseason program to do. So he's, uh, he's excited, he's ready to go, and, uh, you know, he's ready to prove to, uh, you know, college football who he is. Well, you know, first and foremost, it was a disappointment because Richmond's not a, a six and five type of program. We're not a non-playoff team. Uh, you know, you have to credit our kids for, for battling week in and week out and being in a situation to uh, have an opportunity at the playoffs, but it's nothing that we're excited about. And I think this season, uh, we're focused on taking the next step. So we're looking forward to getting back and competing and, and doing the things that are, that, are, that are necessary to represent our conference to the playoffs.